is for the first salvage. Um, I have one on Mesa Cargo. Let's do one on Cargo here for some of the advanced maps. Let's see. So we got uh, this setup here. We have Sada, an Archmage, Relentless Glue, um, Druids, some Druids, Spike Storm, Care Flagship, blah blah blah. This. So there's a few things that I guess I would want to just point out already. I mean, I'm not sure if I even want to buy um, the cross path here because I don't really know if that would even do much of anything. But round 100 is definitely going to be a bit of a concern. So I was thinking like maybe we need first strike, but because we have a spike storm already, I'm thinking just one glue storm would literally do it. Um, that kind of spends all of our money, but if we can beat 98 with this, I'm thinking that a glue storm spike storm, um, along with everything else, should be able to just deal with it. So if I need to, I could also buy the next Sada level and also get, I guess, a village in here because that is actually useful. Does that reach Sada? No, that doesn't even reach Sada. All right. I guess we'll just see how that does and that dies, kind of obviously. So let me get the glue storm in there and then that will reach there. So we'll give these guys drums. And then later for round 100, if we need that, we can buy like Embrit and stuff. So, Goose Storm is gonna come off cooldown. Might as well use that. Grab that. Put a sword charge in there. And can we survive? It's kind of close. Hmm. Let's try buying that saw to level, because that will also help. I guess I can just use saw to ability on strong. Grab the upgrade, nice. I really feel like round 99 won't be much of an issue though. Um, let's use glue storm kind of late, like right about there. And then sword charge, hmm. Let's use the ability right now maybe. And then sword charge. It is weird, we get like two sword charges. Hmm. And we do have 5k, I wonder if I need to buy like an emergency ice there in the back. Or I could just buy that cross path. Because I guess that does something to the fortifieds, like... It isn't technically that bad of an option, I'd assume. I also could buy like the glue right there so it actually... Glue ceramics and stuff. We'll hold out on that. Again, use that kind of early. Grab drums. And then the upgrade. Let's just try doing that. Maybe using the glue storm a bit earlier, because I know it does last a long time. And then sword charge now. It gets the two swipes. Okay. So that beats that. And honestly, like, we really don't have much up for around 99, but I want to assume that Archmage kind of just deals with round 99. Especially I can also buy an Emberit, um, which I might need. Let's see, does it? Alright, it doesn't do it exactly. How about if I get an Emberit? So I'm going to want that for 100, kind of anyways. Um, that looks like it's doing a lot better. Let's go for the Imbrit and the Alk buff again. This also helps a lot on 100. That's priority buff there. Yep. If this doesn't work, we can just RNG it out, maybe do some targeting. Nope, and it works just fine. And we have our abilities back up for 100, which is good. I'm just gonna use that. Kind of about now use Glue Storm and Spike Storm. And this should just be able to take out the bad. And then to clean up, we can use Leaping Sword. Nice! That's a win there. Pretty cool. So Glue Storm definitely did work out. I was just kind of concerned about 100, but I realized like Glue Storm will work great with Flagship and with the Spike Storm. That should be enough just to deal with round 100. Otherwise, I wouldn't really have anything. I would have required, been required to get a first strike, which pushed too much through the budget. I guess it might have been possible to do first strike and then spam a few presses, but uh, I chose this route and it worked out pretty well. So that one was actually fairly easy, only took a few tries. Let's get over to the next one. 
Let's do this cornfield one because it looks super strange. Eh, didn't think about concoction. So what do we have here? We have <laughs> perma brood, like triple dart monkeys, an ultra juggernaut, and this guy. Oop, I did not mean to remove that corn. Anyways, the challenge is that we have to do um, without removing the corn and the placements in this. Um, I assume this was intentionally set up, but the placements were done really bad. It showed that you could only fit these, what is it, six dart monkeys in here? Even though, like, I could fit way more than that. I remember I could get, like, one still right there. But he mentioned that there's only this spot that's available. Um, so, yeah. We're not going to get another thing right there. But I want to try, you can get a but I want to try just having, like, Perma Uptime, Perma Brood Super Monkey Fan Club. So I'm just going to get three of these guys and see where this takes us. Um, I don't really have them up right now, but I should be able to just beat it by using this ability there. Nah, I need some RNG, I guess. Guess that's always a possibility. Hmm. Might be. I mean, I can still get another Super Monkey Fan Club and have Glue Storm right here, so I guess we'll just grab Glue Storm first. We're just gonna have a bunch of super powered, uh... Damn. It's just a few ceramics. We'll we have to use this earlier, but we'll just have a bunch of super powered, super funky man clubs. Let's use it just ASAP because this thing leaves lasts a long time. That still is kind of slow. And by the way, this is how the abilities are set up um, on the thing. We didn't really have any of these. So yeah, it's an issue. And then just use glue storm ASAP. Nah. Okay, so I have to I have to get like a main. That's kind of a weird way to start it, but I guess it has to be done. I can't really decamo in any way. So we're just grabbing a main there. Um Yeah. Alright. Took that down. Let's go for three super funky man clubs then. And I guess that will just give us perma uptime. Perma Brood, Super Funky Man Club. We can also use Pat Ability if we want to. So we only have six of these guys, which isn't really that strong, but we'll get money. I can get Glue Storm or even Cripple Moab in a very bad spot, one would say. Definitely not saving up for Plasma Fan Club, so I guess that's the option. Even if I don't think that would be very good because it'd be just a fraction of its power. Let's just take it. Let's see how fast do these UMGs go down. Actually, it's not that bad. It's just that it wears out quite quickly. Do I have to get more of them? I think I do, even if I want perma uptime. Takes out DDTs quite well, which is nice. And I can get Glue Storm too, which will really ramp up the damage. Also, Cripple Moab might not be a bad option just because, like, Cripple Moab is actually strong. Um. I don't think we can afford both. We could either afford Cripple Moab or just a Glue Storm, which might be like actually a pretty interesting idea. It only will shoot over here, but Cripple Moab is strong. We do know that. All right, taking that down. Oh, yeah. So it doesn't look like it has exactly per. Ah. Is it? Oh, maybe. Maybe it's a bit short. Still pretty good, though. Alright, 95 coming in. I really don't think we should have an issue with 95. Uh, they go a bit. I can use, um, Pat Roar. That definitely takes care of it. Quite nice. Perma Root Pat. How crazy. I think that Pat doesn't camos, though, so... It's not going to be doing much there. Alright, 96 is going on. I think this generally should be like a pretty breezy run. Round 100 I guess could be scary, so that's why I'm contemplating like even just getting Cripple for that. Because Cripple will deal with round 100. Not sure if Glue Storm would. I mean, Glue Storm, Pat, Permabrood, Super Monkeys, even though there's only 6 of them, is quite a lethal combo for a single target. But I'm not even sure if that would be enough. Um, could be though. We'll see. 
I'll just hold my money. If it comes to around 98 and I have to spend, I guess I'll just spend there. But, because these guys are going to be super slow, let's just have some fun and uh, go all out on these two fortified ZMGs. See how fast we can take it out, just for reference. So if I go like that, pretty fast. I feel like with a glue storm, we should be able to take out a bad too. Let's see if I can beat round 98 without um, using... Uh, well, without spending my money. So let's, first of all, just use that immediately. And then let's go Roar and Glue Strike. It looks like they are kind of getting Pierce capped, but the damage definitely is there. Yeah. So I guess it will be safer going for Cripple Moab, so let's, let's get that. Again, the range is really bad, but it's a safer option, so why not? Um, you are on strong. I'll set you back to first. Damn, I am like still pierce capping though quite a lot. Maybe glue storm even is just better. No glue storm will affect more stuff. Hello Elite Omegas, how are you doing? Um, I guess with that in mind I can get more of these. I don't really think they'll be doing much, but... Guess we have it. Let's see, does that take it down? Being able to glue storm those, okay, this should be able to work. Being able to glue storm the ceramics is actually kind of a big deal, which is cool. So let's grab uh, more Super Monkey Fan Clubs. I feel like I should at least have an ability up for uh, 99. I feel like that might be smart. Oh darn, we, we got left with that same like kind of clump of ceramics. Um, I did forget to buy that pat level though. I, I can do that and set pat on first. Pat on first will kind of be more like for cleanup because I don't really need any help with taking out the ZMGs. It's just like all the kind of Moabs uh, on the inside, even the BFBs too. Let's um, so let's try using the abilities a bit earlier. Pat on first. That was even worse. Maybe... Maybe using the glue storm a bit later is even better. Darn. It's still like kind of the same rush of uh, Moabs and stuff. Um. I wonder if maybe even just like maim on first would be better. I can't really do anything with this juggernaut, so that kind of stinks. What if I can get away with using two Glorm abilities? Let's see. I really doubt it. It's going to be very late for the next one to come back up. Yeah, I definitely need the Glorm for like right there. All right, let's use Glue Storm a, a bit earlier and then followed up by Roar because Glue Storm will last longer than Roar, I believe. And let's see, with Maimon first, will that clean everything up? Oh, it's so close. That's just like a few ceramics. Okay, this definitely can work. So let's Glorm about now. And now Roar. Okay. Come on, clean it up. Oh, there we go. We did it. Nice. Okay. And I got a Super Monkey Fan Club up here for 99. Um, am I really screwed here? I better not be. Thought this meme would help out more. Um, yeah, especially because you don't have camo. I guess that kind of sucks. If I really needed needed Glorm up for um, 99. Yeah, stuff seems to be getting a bit through. I mean, that meme spot's kind of trash. Um, 
Pat not being able to hit the DDTs is a huge bummer. Yeah, I don't know about this one. <laughs> it's like it, it was put in a weird position. I I thought it would would run a bit better. Um, maybe there would have been a better thing to put here instead of a main mob that would allow me to also beat round 90 because I needed something to like actually kill the DDTs there with those abilities on cooldown. So kind of unfortunate. Um, Primer Brood Super Monkey Fan Clubs is definitely a cool thing, but there's just so many restrictions on this run. I feel like it is possible, but it would just be with like such a minor change. It it wouldn't really be that interesting. Um, so I guess I I want to see if just like adding camo to Pat would do it. Can I even play something there? No, I can't. What about like even a, just another Dart Monkey? Would that even do it? It would be funny if it does. Oh, I'd maim on the wrong targeting there. Yeah, it still leaks a little bit. So yeah, that, I guess that's a bit unfortunate. Um, You don't win everything. I don't know why I bought a cross path there, but if I give you camo detection, yeah, we can slap the DDTs, and that like actually just takes them out way easier. Um, and you can't, because that's a medium tower, you can't get it in that slot. That's actually what I would originally done, get, just get a foam there, because that would allow Pat to do it, but I guess he can't do that. Kind of a rip. How does this do against 100, though? Kind of curious. Kind of takes out the bad pretty well. Like, that's pretty good round 100 damage. How about these two ZMGs at the end? Um, yeah, takes it out. Interesting. So it was just that camo. No camo on Pat. I guess also maybe if I glue storm there, that would have worked, but kind of unfortunate. That's all right, though. It's a fun strategy, and that still f was fun to fix. Unfortunately, you just had to grab a little something there to allow Pat to actually do work. Anyways, pretty cool run, though, even though it technically failed. But yeah. Thanks for watching. If you want to help out the channel, you can check out these new videos, like and subscribe for more content, support the channel by becoming a member, and joining the Discord to chat with the community. Bye!